Hi, I'm Carla Littleton, Animal and Habitats Coordinator at Carnegie Science Center. Welcome to Something to Watch, where we share fun science videos for educators, families, and children of all ages. Uh, I'm in the exhibit gallery today. I'm practicing social distancing because I'm here by myself. Here in Pennsylvania, we have 15 species of butterflies that are common. And a lot of people know about the monarch butterfly and its declining population. But in the Northeast of the United States, our wetlands butterflies are really critically uh, in need of habitat and assistance with more host plants. And that include things like the Baltimore checker, the bog copper, and some others. So today I wanna share some quick uh, footage of our painted lady caterpillars, and then some previous videos of our monarch butterflies both going into chrysalis and coming out, which is really cool. So here we have our painted lady uh, caterpillar culture. Uh, and there's a couple things we're gonna do today. We are going to clean out their old food and replace it. So this is their food. Uh, we use a pre-mixed food instead of host plants. It's a little bit easier for this species since the pre-made food is readily available. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do is there are some of these little black pieces here. So those little black pieces are shed skins. Those, uh, the caterpillars will shed their skin as they grow. So we need to take that out and uh, make sure they're clean. The other thing uh, we'll be doing is making sure all of our caterpillars are healthy. Uh, these ones are about two weeks old now. Uh, typically they would be out on exhibit gallery uh, for the visitors to see, but today we're going behind the scenes to see them. One of the things you'll notice here is this might look very strange. We are using a muffin tin. Uh, so this is a four, would normally hold four muffins. You can get these clean and they're actually pretty good for housing our caterpillars. So there is one of our painted lady caterpillars right here. Uh, you can see they're a very fuzzy caterpillar they will turn into a butterfly in several more weeks and they still have some growing to do before they're ready for that so we're going to do some cleaning and then after uh, it's all cleaned up i'll show you what the new cleaned enclosure looks like so here we are now with our cleaned enclosure uh, for our caterpillars i'm going to add some food to each one of our sections now I want to add the food before I add the caterpillars so that I don't accidentally uh, squish any of our caterpillars. And I'm going to sort them out a little bit by size because we have several different size caterpillars. So I have these much larger caterpillars here, which I'm going to put over here in this corner. Now they'll typically just crawl out on the food. I don't have to do much of anything with them but I don't want to put them in the same place as these very tiny caterpillars here. Now these all came out of the same uh, batch of caterpillars. One of the things we use as a tool for our caterpillars are feathers. Feathers are actually really good at work for working with caterpillars, especially when they're still small. Uh, another thing you can use is a paintbrush. So if you're using a paintbrush, that can work as well. Whatever you're using, you want to make sure it's gentle on the caterpillars uh, so that they don't get injured when you are working with them. Now I have a caterpillar that's holding on to my feather. So that's pretty much how we do this. We'll keep this clean and after a while they'll start going to the top of the container and they will go into chrysalis and they will come out as butterflies. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity uh, to join you again and show you uh, what they look like as butterflies. Here's one more shot of all of these caterpillars.
Wasn't it cool to see butterfly caterpillars and the process of them being a chrysalis? You can see butterflies and more of our animal ambassadors here in the H2O field station or check us out for more fun on social media, YouTube, and at carnegiesciencecenter.org. Bye!